Although the details will differ, the tragedies, the unanticipated tests and trials, both physical and spiritual, come to each of us because this is mortality. We search for happiness, we long for peace, we hope for love, and the Lord showers us with an amazing abundance of blessings. But intermingled with the joy and happiness, one thing is certain. There will be moments, hours, days, sometimes years, when your soul will be wounded. Wounds of the soul are not unique to the rich or the poor, to one culture, one nation, or one generation. They come to all and are part of the learning we receive from this mortal experience. My message is especially to those who are keeping the commandments of God, keeping their promises to God, and are confronted with trials and challenges that are unexpected and painful. Our wounds may come from a natural disaster or an unfortunate accident. They may come from an unfaithful husband or wife, turning life upside down for a righteous spouse and children. The wounds may come from the darkness and gloom of depression, from an unanticipated illness, from the suffering or premature death of someone we love, the sadness from a family member dismissing his or her faith, the loneliness when circumstances do not bring an eternal companion, or a hundred other heart-wrenching, painful sorrows that the eye can't see. We each understand that difficulties are part of life, but when they come to us personally, they can take our breath away. Without being alarmed, we need to be ready. Along with the bright colors of happiness and joy, the darker colored threads of trial and tragedy are woven deeply into the fabric of our Father's plan. These struggles, although difficult, often become our greatest teachers. However deep the wounds of your soul, whatever their source, wherever or whenever they happen, and for how short or long they persist, you are not meant to perish spiritually. You are meant to survive spiritually and blossom in your faith and trust in God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through the incalculable gift of His Atonement, not only saves us from death and offers us through repentance forgiveness for our sins, but He also stands ready to save us from the sorrows and pains of our wounded souls. The Savior is our Good Samaritan, sent to heal the brokenhearted. He comes to us when others pass us by. With compassion, He places His healing balm on our wounds and binds them up. He carries us. He cares for us. He bids us, come unto me, and I shall heal you. How can painful wounds be for our good? In the crucible of earthly trials, patiently move forward, and the Savior's healing power will bring you light, understanding, peace, and hope. Hold on to these words. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. You are a valiant child of God, and with his help, you can triumph in the battles of this fallen world. Your troubles and sorrows are very real, but they will not last forever. Your dark night will pass because the sun did rise with healing in his wings. It is my promise to you that increasing your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ will bring you added strength and greater hope the healer of our souls in his time and his way will heal all your wounds and wipe away all tears from your eyes. No injustice, no persecution, 
No trial, no sadness, no heartache, no suffering, no wound. However deep, however wide, however painful, will be excluded from the comfort, peace, and lasting hope of Him whose open arms and whose wounded hands will welcome us back into His presence.